Every time I close my eyes, I can touch the colors around me. Suddenly, I realize. Uh, how are you? I am super great. It's good to see I'm you. I'm still here. I I'm still going. I'm going. Me too. <laughs> I haven't been kicked out yet. We've been doing this a long time. I know. It's been like five years of this. Okay, so I remember a conversation I'm not sure if it was on the set of Twilight or New Moon where we were talking to you about the birth and we were like wait, wait, wait. how were you, there, were you there the day it was pouring down absolutely I did my first interview I think absolutely we, we hung out in the tent with you all day because you had heat oh my god it was insane it was crazy so it was either there because I don't know because Breaking Dawn maybe maybe it was there or it was New Moon where we talked about the birth and we said how can you do the birth and you were like I got ideas. So how do you think it turned out? Actually, Bill Condon is way cooler than me because he <laughs> took what I thought would be awesome about the birth and he took it to a whole new level. It's, to me, the best part of the movie. I've seen it and I agree with you. I mean, honestly, to, to pull off what Stephanie wrote in a way that's accessible to a broad audience, it's, it's all from Bella's point of view. It's intense, it's emotional, it's scary. Well, people were hyping about the rating of this and I said, I don't think it's the honeymoon that's gonna affect the rating, I think it's the birth. It was, you know, it's interesting, internationally, the birth was more of a problem than the sex. <laughs> Domestically, the sex is more of a problem than the birth. That's the world we live in. And I don't know where Kristen had to go to do that scene, but it was it was amazing. So funny is because my wife's an OBGYN. I was all prepared to have her. And that and that's where you said I got ideas. Yeah, yeah. I, I I was like I was like I, I'm, I'll bring Mary in and I, she'll talk to you. And Kristen was like I've spent so much time on this. I have a really good idea of what I want to do. She blew my socks off. I mean, she's like. I, I, I'd like to say some really smart professional answer, but the best part of it was just getting to be with her every day and hang out. And whereas before I had to use my judgment of what was appropriate or what wasn't, I would go, oh wait, Stephanie's here. Stephanie, what do you think? She's like, I like it. And I'm like, great. <laughs> Don't have to do anything. It was great. It was so much fun. I mean, she's family now. It's, it's been great. And you guys are working on something else together, right? We have a couple, yeah, we have a couple. You told us in Eclipse that you were working on something. Yeah, we have we have, a, we have a TV idea we want to do. We have another um, a book thing that's uh, that, that she and Megan, who y'all may know, Megan Hibbett, is fantastic. She has a book that she found that we're going to do together. Nice. Awesome. So you're sticking with books to movies? Always, always. I mean, honestly, like between, you know, the Nicholas Sparks and the Stephanie Meyer stuff and all our new things, Dead Mail and Legend, which is a new great book y'all should all read by Marie Lou. I have a feeling Rob just arrived. Or somebody really cool just showed it's up. Hard to hear that sound here. I love it. I love it. It makes me, it makes me happy. Do you think it gets more intense every year? I'm so happy to say that yes. It's. I, I was worried that it was going to ebb, but, but it, this is bigger than Eclipse. It's exciting. Thank you so much for talking to us. I've died.